Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about the yoke the enemy places on prodigals. So the Lord began to give me revelation concerning this yoke that comes from the enemy when I was um, in one of my one on one sessions. And I want to bring this to you. OK, um, I just want to I want to bring this to you and make you aware of this yoke the enemy places around prodigal's neck because many of you you know when you go in the kitchen when you you know speak to your prodigal or you know you might take a look at the prodigal social media pages or or even when you just hear about them you know it can look like that your prodigal is living their best life it can you know um even sound like you know um that your prodigal is walking into blessing. It can even appear that God is blessing your prodigal for all of their wrongdoing, but that's not the case, okay? And I'm going to show you this in scripture. So Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30, it reads, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. So I is talking to Jesus, okay? Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So we can learn from this scripture that when we take God's yoke, it comes with ease. It is light. When we take on God's yoke, we find rest in our soul your soul consists of your mind your will and your emotions right so this because when i was in the session my one-on-one -on -one session and the lord began to open up my eyes he began to allow me to see the scripture in a whole different you know light than before i began to get revelation that when the enemy you know put this joke on prodigals they don't find rest for their soul so their mind is not at rest their emotion, they are being tormented daily in their emotions, in their mind, their will. We can see that in action, you know, because the will is the place where you make your decisions from. So you already see, you know, how your prodigal is going backwards. You already see how the decision that the prodigal is making is not a good decision, right? You know this, but maybe the prodigal doesn't know it right now, right? But we can see the decision making, the double minded. We can see the confusion. We can see the yoke that the enemy has placed on prodigals, right? And I want to turn your attention to this because, again, many of you believe that the Lord is blessing your prodigal, and that's not the case. That's not the case. Scripture say, um, I'm a paraphrase, but it talks about how the unrighteous, they stay up under God's wrath until they repent, right? So there, when you up under God's wrath, that means you are up under God's punishment. That means curses for disobedience, right? So you're not blessed when you are living up under a curse, okay? It just, it just in the physical, it looked like blessing, but those are counterfeit blessings. These, these counterfeit blessings that comes from the enemy, it has an expiration date, okay? When judgment time come, that's when all of those counterfeit blessings you, 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 you know, was able to see when you went in the kitchen, you know, being given to your prodigal, that's when the Lord come in and take all those counterfeit blessings away. Okay. So the devil blessings has an expiration date. Okay. When God, when he bless you, his blessing has no sorrow. Okay. But yes. Yeah, so when the, when, when the enemy places his yoke on prodigal, they have no rest in their soul. They stay up all night long, tossing and turning. They're being convicted, right? In they in they sphere, right? Uh, they're being tormented. Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, it says, For freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. A yoke of slavery comes from the kingdom of darkness. This is what prodigals are up under, the yoke of slavery, Okay. Um, the enemy yoke, it feels like a burden. So this is what your prodigal is going through, okay? They are being burdened by certain responsibility, obligation, you know, even people in their lives, right? But the enemy yoke comes with a burden. The enemy yokes make you feel like a slave. The enemy yoke, you know the yoke is on you because you feel that heaviness. You feel oppression. You might even feel depressed, okay? Uh, you, you know, again, there's unrest in your soul the enemy yoke um harasses you right you have no peace 
you have no peace, right? So I wanted to just bring this to your awareness, you know, because um, according to the scripture, when we take God's yoke, it comes with ease. When we take God's yoke, it is light. It is freedom. Okay. You don't feel like a slave. You know, um, your mind is at peace. You're able to make clear decisions. Okay. When you take God's yoke. Okay. But the enemy has placed a yoke on prodigal and the way how we can partner with God in this process and helping to break the yoke off of your prodigal is by going on a Isaiah uh, 58 fast. Okay. Because Isaiah 58 verse six, it talks about, it say, is not this the fast that I chose to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the straps of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke. So you see that? Right here in this scripture, again, it's associating the enemy's yoke with oppression, okay? So when we go on a Isaiah 58 fast, you can stand in the gap on behalf of your prodigal spouse to help break that yoke off of their life, okay? And if you haven't already heard our God or name marriage fast, um, it is taking place next week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, the detail, the, 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 the three-day water fast, um, instruction, you know, will be coming out at 12 p.m. Um, today. So just look for that video. Look for the post with the FAS um, link so so that you can sign up. Uh, just head over to GodOrdainedMarriages.com forward slash FAS and sign up. Okay. I'll leave the link in the description area as well. But this is how we break the yoke off of prodigals. Okay. Um, by standing in the gap you know, and doing an Isaiah 58 fast. You have to follow the principles in Isaiah 58 to get the desired results, okay? So with that, I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.